Big Jet 45 Alpha is en route at cruising altitude. It's a busy summer day, and the controller is constantly giving instructions to other aircraft. Suddenly, non-emergency calls start coming in on the guard frequency on the second VHF radio. Because this interferes with the pilot's obligation to monitor the primary ATC frequency, one pilot deselects the second radio, and the other turns the volume down. A few minutes later, the controller transfers them to the coastal sector, but the pilots miss here and select the wrong frequency. Unfortunately, the controller doesn't notice their incorrect readback, and the pilots forget to check in with the coastal sector. When the coastal controller tries to contact Big Jet 45 Alpha on the correct frequency, she receives no answer. After a while, she tries the VHF emergency frequency, but since the pilots deselected it and turned the volume down, they don't hear her calls. A few minutes later, two armed fighter jets pull up alongside them. Big Jet 45 Alpha has been intercepted. So what are the key takeaways from this loss of communication? Pilots, emergency frequencies like 121.5 are for emergencies only. Never use it for other purposes or allow other crew members to misuse it. Report disturbances on emergency frequencies or the reception of emergency located transmitters or ELTs to air traffic control. Even if there is distracting chatter or noise, do not deselect the guard frequency or turn down its volume too much. And make sure you tune your radio unit correctly when you intend to transmit on the secondary frequency or plan to make a passenger announcement. Controllers, pay close attention to the pilot's readback during frequency changes and correct any errors. Consider the use of CPDLC for frequency changes, reducing frequency congestion and misunderstandings. If you can't get in contact with an aircraft, even on the designated emergency frequency, and you suspect loss of communication, first establish whether the airline company can contact the aircraft, for example, via ACARS. If you detect misuse, unintended transmissions, or ELTs on the radio, act according to your local operating procedures. Learn more about emergency frequencies on Skybrain.